time being 5.30, Tuesday, August the 1st, 2023. First item agenda is a uh, roll call. Present. Present. Here. Present. Here. Here. We have a motion to excuse absent members. So move, Mr. Chairman. We have a second. Second. It has been moved and second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Again, same sign. Motion carries. Item two is approval of minutes of July 3rd, 2023, regular call meeting. <clears throat> Everybody get a chance to read the minutes. Mm -hmm. Is there a motion for approval of the minutes? Yeah, I move. I should move, uh, Mr. Chairman. Second. It's been moved and second. Any discussion? Not all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Again, same sign. Motion carries. Item B is revenue report for the month of June 2023. Good afternoon, uh, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for the record again, my name is Frank Nunez. I am the new manager for Tierra del Sol Golf Course. Uh, pleasure being here again. So real quick for the month of, uh, of June, I, I know we were down a couple of, of dollars. Uh, you know, we, we are moving forward. We still have the, the sundowners. They're still, we're doing good on that one. I know we brought we brought the fees down to $20 and uh, we're getting a good response from uh, from the golfers. They're coming in. Um, so for July, uh, the golf tournaments that we've had, we've had the RGV Junior nine hole uh, tournaments. That was on Wednesday the 12th. Then we had the 18 hole RGV Juniors also uh, that was on the Friday the 14th. On that one, I did talk to the coaches um, if we could move that tournament during the week because Friday is one of our busiest days. And I know we had to uh, we had to close the course for that day. Uh, it was in the morning. So uh, we are going to be already planning to move it either Thursday or, or Wednesday, but not on Friday. Because I made it clear that that's when our busiest days start for the weekend, so they all agree with it. So we'll, we'll be meeting again to discuss the future dates. Um, Friday the twenty first, we had our PSJ Booster uh, FA Booster Club uh, tournament that went very well. I know on average on a Saturday uh, we averaged more or less about five thousand uh, dollars. That on this tournament I. We did make about $3,200. $3, so, and then in the afternoon, we get our regular players coming in. So it, it pretty much evens out. And we'll probably make a little bit more when when we had uh, tournaments like that. Um, I know I went up on our, our fees for tournaments. And, you know, I, like I explained to, to the coaches and everything, uh, things are going up. So unfortunately, our fees have to go up a little bit, not not that drastically, but um, they did go up. Upcoming tournaments, I know August the 12th, is, uh, we're going to have our FAR EDC golf tournament. Um, and we're still continuing to push our loyalty program. That's going very well. And uh, like I, I touched up on the Sundowners, I did bring it down to $20, and we are getting a good response. Um, just real quick. On the north side of the clubhouse, uh, we're redoing that little road where we park all the golf carts when we have tournaments. Uh, you know, it was all patched up. There was holes everywhere. I got with Mr. Marin, and, and uh, uh, fortunately enough, he had some material left over from other projects that that's going to be done at no cost. So it's going to look much nicer. So. Uh, I know for July, real quick, uh, and it's going to be on the next meeting report. Uh, we are up three thousand dollars now for July, so it's that's going to be a we're going to be in the positive. So, any questions, Mayor? Go ahead, Mr. Thank you for the report. Um, so, what is uh, your Maso Meadows average uh, turnout for a sundowner? 
So I'm down there, you're looking between 20 and 30 players. Yes, sir. And I'm, I'm sorry, one more question. And, and on the paving, um, patching up that strip of area that you're talking about, yes, sir. Uh, is our own personnel going to take care of that? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, that's being done by Public Works already. So it should be done by tomorrow. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Frank, what do they get for for twenty dollars in the sun garden? Twenty dollars, you get uh, your your green fees, your cart fees, and uh, you get food at the end. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Very good. Price. Oh, and uh, just the lowest price in the valley, I think. Yes, it is. Yes, it. And I, I believe we're the only ones that give food at the end. Nobody else does that. So, uh, is there any way to advertise that other than our app? I am gonna be meeting with Ms. Uh, Yuri Gonzalez, our media director, tomorrow, and we're gonna come up with a, a marketing plan for for the whole the whole golf course. Okay. Um, I know in past years what we've done is we've uh, we pardon me, I'm sorry, we've inserted uh, our ads in our water bill. Water bill. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's something that Public Works has accommodated us with because. You're talking all the accounts we have in this in the city because I'm sure. I pardon me. I'm sorry. I'm sure you have a limited as to how many people can actually you can actually uh, um, play commit to right. Because right. you said twenty to thirty players. What's yes, the maximum you think you can actually have for nine holes? Uh, what would be the maximum? Sixty. Sixty. Okay. So, so I know that, as I said in the past, we we've had that, and it's worked uh, favorably for us because that's that's our product. I think yes, sir. And it's just a matter of having it. Like you said, you're going to get with our, our media department and see what yes. other avenues you can pursue. So I, I think that we've done that in the past, have we not? George? Yes, sir. So you might want to ask her to look okay. in, her, in her files we'll and do. see what they've got, so you don't have to recreate. Right. And I know that we. I want to do the a drone shot and all that. You know. Uh, so, oh, good. Um, also, I, I know you all have uh, asked about uh, the golf ball dispensers. Yeah. I, I called um, Mr. Moore. Um, he's one of the vendors, <clears throat> and uh, we are going to be setting up a demo for you guys. So I told him to let me know ahead of time with plenty of time. That way I can make sure that if you all can attend to be there. Okay. Mr. Chairman, uh, what kind of demo? How the, how the, how the machine how works. Machine works. He's going to bring a machine down. And uh, I told him I prefer no cash, cashless machines. Okay. That way, you know, you there will be no vandalism. Right. Uh, more credit card tokens, whatever he can bring down and show it to us. So, yes, sir. Credit card or debit card? Or, yes, sir. or tokens you buy them in the clubhouse yeah but if it's closed you can't buy them well, no yeah. but because you you're trying to get the ones that that go after, after, after they close. After yes hours, and, yeah. and and that was the thing that i was gonna go <clears throat> go uh you know to to the driving range and it was eight o'clock and we had we closed down already i go well what if i want to go then what am i going to do when we have lights out there so that that's a good idea that you all brought up. So hopefully we'll get that machine up and running here. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, the biggest concern I had because <coughs> we're thinking of doing that when we renovate the golf course is that we're planning on doing something uh, uh, like a two-story uh, hitting place, driving range. Driving range where they like top golf. <laughs> Yeah, like yeah. top golf, but two stories so that so that we can accommodate more people. More people. But, yes, but at that time, you need to make sure that we put that that it doesn't interfere with our plans if, once we expand that. Yes, sir. So that they're located in a place where it's not going to interfere at all. I, so, Mr. Chairman, just, I think those machines, and I've seen them before because I use them in San Antonio. That they're they're big, but they can be they're movable. Yes, I you can move them around. Electricity, so mm -hmm. you've got to okay. be close to. So what I'm thinking, is maybe for now, close to the clubhouse, and uh, we can have it there. They dispense their own buckets. They fill it up. The machine right. fills it up and everything. And yeah, sounds mm -hmm. good. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I have been we're in Louisiana. 
Indiana, we've had this, and they don't have buckets, they have bags. Okay. And it works out real well. Instead of buckets, oh, pre, bags? Pre, pre, pre-packaged. No. No, no, no. You just, just put fill the, up bag the bag, on, bag mm-hmm. underneath the outlet, and it, the balls come out, and that's oh, yeah. it. Like the ice. Yeah. I can ask. I can ask him on that one. See what other options he has. So, great. Okay. Yes, sir. With that being said, and I know my colleague to my right was gonna welcome our new member, and she just spoke. So <laughs> maybe this is a good time for you. To- <laughs> well, I, <didn't, laughs> I, I was gonna ask for a point of privilege. I guess yeah. that's what you call it uh, <laughs> to introduce our newest member. Uh, the chairman was looking for some new members and, and uh, we all thought that uh, we needed some female input. So we're very glad that you're a member of the board and welcome on behalf of everyone. Thank you. Welcome. You might you might want to say something now that they introduced you. Already. <laughs> uh, they introduced yourself to the... Well, when everybody. he called me about this, I was in Louisiana at the time, so... You might want to state your name for everybody to know you and out there, because I know it's, has it been, been recorded or not? Yes. So that everybody can know who you are. I'm Myla Anderson, and I live at Paradise uh, Res- uh, Resort and Estates, adjacent to the club. To the club. Great. Evan so, welcome. So welcome. Evan Golfer. Yes. <laughs> Five days a week, if I can get out. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so well, welcome, and... Uh, and we'll be looking forward for your input. Thank, Thank you, you very much for serving. Congratulations. Do we have a motion for uh, approval of the report? <coughs> so moved, Chair. I'll second. Has been moved and second. Any other discussion? Now, all in favor, signify by saying aye. <coughs> aye. aye. Again, same sign. Motion carries. Golf course operation Thank report. <coughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Arturo Lopez, and I'm, I'm glad to be here with you again, again, okay? Again. Yeah. <laughs> again, again. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, first, you know, I, I went around to look at the golf course, and the, the golf course needs a lot of attention. You know, it was, uh, you know, a lot of neg- negligence for the, the you know, the, the people before ours, ours, you know? But I think we can bring it back, you know, if you should give us the, the tools, the tools that we need. I think we can we can bring it back, you know, little by little, but uh, we, we can we can make it happen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so far, this uh, uh, this uh, last week we start punching the greens, you know, salad times. We did, uh, you know, so give them some nutrients, you know. We put some uh, gypsum, fertilizer, some aqueduct to make uh, some of the the roots soft. So this way we're gonna help uh, get healthy roots, you know, uh, so we can get the greens going little by little. Okay. And also we've been uh, spot spraying some of the goose grass, crab grass that we've been having around the colors. And also we've been getting, you know, uh, I've been uh, looking all the greens and we have some Kalinga grass, we have uh, some Kukuya grass. So we've been spot spraying some of the, those, uh, you know, grasses so, so we can control, you know, so we're going to have a nice and clean, uh, tough Bermuda. Yes. So, but uh, it's little by little, we're going to get it done, little by little. Okay. Also, we've been, you know, uh, continuing, you know, uh, uh, fixing the leaks, you know, you, you know, that's um, to the aesthetics of the golf course, you want to make it, want to make it better, the irrigation, we need to get irrigation, pump station, we need to, uh, you know, in the future, you know, we can get a little bit of money, budget, you know, to get uh, those things uh, for the golf course to look nice, for the community, for, for the, you know, the students, you know, for, for everybody. Uh, I think we need uh, those, those uh, things, you know, to get it done in the future, you know. Yeah, because I, I, I feel I got some some pictures. That's okay if I go. Yes. Arturo, thank you. Welcome back. Can we ask uh, some questions? As, yeah. as he, uh, 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 Arturo, uh, I was just going to ask you, I saw the, the, um, the green spots around the collars where you're trying to, to clean, uh, clean it up yeah. and and uh, and uh, 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 get rid of that 
the grass. Good grass crab yes, grass. but on top of the greens, there's also some some of that same of grass that you have on the collars. Do yeah. you still use that same green stuff that you're using on the collars? Yeah, yeah, that's that, that's a that's a blue. You're talking about the blue dye or what? Uh, that green greenish blue dye. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. Use that on the green too. Yeah, disappear because with the sun. We do have a lot of. Uh, yeah. A little grass around uh, in on the green. Yeah, that's a, that's a, a use special uh, on the chemical. That's um, uh, like your MSMA and some dismiss. Uh, but I, I use very. Uh, you need all the time. You need to read the label because uh, that's real. You know, very strong chemical. So you need to be very really careful. Yeah, but I still, you know, little by little because usually you want to do it every every fourteen days because you don't want to damage the Bermuda underneath. Exactly. So you gotta be be careful, you know, you know. That you don't burn the. the yeah, you don't want to burn the, the Bermuda. You right. want to be be careful. Yeah, yeah. As, a, another suggestion, and maybe a a, a a question and a suggestion is, um, some of the some of the watering, and and I know the we have a lot of problems with the irrigations, but yes. you can tell where. There's a leak because everything's very, very gr green, yeah. and yet it spills over a little bit, and and people in carts don't realize it. You got to stop sometimes mm. to to check it out because you're right on top of the water. The water, yeah. So my suggestion to uh, Mr. Nunez and 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 to you is that maybe what we ought to do is uh, uh, fence in all of those areas. It doesn't matter until mm. you get to them. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't like have a, time to fix that. Yeah, but to put on rope, right? Seeing the same. Uh, 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 green spots for a couple of weeks in the same hole. Yeah. Hole. So yes. if we could rope, rope, those rope up, yeah, okay, yeah. and mm. and maybe we could get people like me <laughs> before <laughs> I go right on. Yeah. Before I get right on top of the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been, you know, tackle those. You know, I got uh, a couple, you know, a couple of the guys that can, um, we can, you know, fix those uh, those areas. But you know, like uh, they've been, you know, you know, them putting, you know, the five, the fabric, you know, for the internet or for the cable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been doing a lot of damage to the golf course, you know, broken pipe, you know, and that's we've been, you know, uh, get those things done. So we've been, you know, kind of, uh, you know, uh, like those uh, areas that you do, we just do it little by little. Yes. Yeah, because um, yeah, that's but uh, I, we I, get I we get it done. You can't get to all of them, but yeah. but if we would. Yes, but like I said, the some, main thing uh, maybe put some some, put some ropes. Yeah, we we're gonna get some ropes. Okay. I, I don't know. So, in, Frank, who's fixing the pipes when they pick, they break them? Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, I know Friday um, we had a big, big uh, water break. Um, they were they were drilling and they hit one of our main uh, lines. Uh, we're fixing it. Uh, the city's fixing it. But all of that is going to go to the contractor so we can get reimbursed for all that. But if, I mean, Friday, they left it without water. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, till late yesterday, they, they got fixed. So, you know, and, and I, I was in contact with Mr. Peña, Jose Peña, about it. Like, you know, would they need to be more careful? Or, or I don't know what they can do, but that really hurt us. On, on the business? I'm you sorry. You lost business and money. I mean, I know it's we repair it, right? We get reimbursed for it. Yes. So was there any damage to not having customers play because of it? No, 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 no. no and that we we was were it okay. the back nine. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was the back nine. Back. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, Mayor. Well, I guess as long as we get reimbursed, because yes. we shouldn't be oh. paying for that. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, so that those those um, things have been, you know, occasion a little problem, you know, for the golf course. That's the reason it looks a little dry. But as well, you know, with, you know, the heat wave that we have right now all over the golf courses, is, is, uh, they look the same because, uh, you know, they look very dry because of the the temperature. But we try to do our best, you know, with the guys, with the, with the Frank, um, Juan, and the other the other Juan. But everybody, all the, the my workers are very hard workers. So. But, we try to do the best for you. Thank yes. you. Jonathan, we need to make sure that when they do break lines and stuff, that we charge them, they don't come back and recharge us again in the city for stuff mm -hmm. that they're supposed to pay for. It shouldn't come out of our pocket. Yes. But the only thing I ask in the future, if we can give us the resources, the the, the, the equipment that we need, to, you know, to, to make the golf course be better, you know, for you. Yeah. Let's yeah. 
it, it takes a lot of work i know because i have personal experience with doing that um and it's uh a lot of toil and and knowing what you're doing i certainly don't know one tenth but you know arthur yes. i'm glad to see your back thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah. because i know that things are going to improve but i just want to make sure uh chairman that we have our, or are providing all the necessary tools so that you can do your job yes one of the things that i used to deal with all the time was did you have the right weed eaters yes. did you have the right tillers yeah. did you have the right um whatever it took yes. to yeah. get that course in optimum shape yes. so yes. um yes. i don't know if you're staffed adequately yeah, we, we uh, so far uh, we have it in the we, we need, there. So far we have uh, we have everything we need, but I, I don't know. We're gonna try to get some equipment. I don't know if uh, Mr. Frank. Can get I, I do want to address this. Um, all of these things can be fixed little by little with the right yes. resources and the yes. right tools. Yes. But uh, I know that we've been talking about it here. This committee certainly knows about that. Uh, we've we've got a long-standing problem with our sprinkler system yes that, that's and it. and i don't know what the timetable is mayor can you have you heard anything on this uh, you know uh, replacing uh whether we're going to go with a new sprinkler company or we're going to go with just replacing heads or, or what are we planning no on eventually when we renovate the golf horse we're gonna change Look, everything up. something new everything new old sprinkler system because uh, going be back to Mr. Guerrero or Jaime's uh, comments regarding water and stuff like that, all of that has to do with <clears throat> uh, an outdated sprinkler system that we have out there. And sometimes there's too much water, sometimes there's not enough water. Yeah. So um, yeah. so that's why we need to upgrade the irrigation system. Yeah. Well, okay. <clears throat> Any other comments? Anyway, welcome back. I know that Thank you're going to do a tremendous job. Now. I'm glad to be here. Okay, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Any more and, comments from anybody? And, and also about the, the equipment, Frank. Yeah. Uh, just to touch up real quick, uh, I know, as you all know, uh, Cimarron Country Club shut down, and uh, I was uh, lucky enough to bring the mechanic that they had over there. I brought him over here. He brought up some equipment that they have over there. They're, they're willing to sell. So um, I've been working, well, Mr. Lopez has been working with, uh, with a gentleman over there, and uh, I'll get with uh, Commissioner Medina on this. We're looking at buying five machines. Uh, they're like semi brand new for the price of one. If really? we would get it from, from Toro, you're looking at for the five machines with Toro, you're looking at over $100,000. The machine that we're looking at at Cimarron, you're looking at $30,000 $30, for all That's five. 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 Because uh, unfortunately, the machines that we have right now, some are outdated. The companies have closed down for years. There's no parts for them. And so, I mean, these guys have been working miracles with those machines. Yeah. And uh, I know because I've, I've been over there every day. I go over there and <clears throat> with a mechanic and he showed me what's going on and everything. So um, I think once we buy those machines, uh, you know, it, that's going to help tremendously. To the golf course. Uh, Mr. Nunez, uh, Mr. President, uh, are these uh, for the fairway or are they for the green? They're for everything. Yeah. They're yeah. yes, and they're uh, tour machines. So yes, Great. they're top of the line machines. And unfortunately, Cimarron uh, closed down, and that's that was a good for us because now I can get that machine over here and. Help these guys. Jonathan is here. He can hear you. What are you yeah. saying? Uh, and, and Mr. Uh, Chairman, I request the I already <laughs> talked to him. Well, Mr. Chairman, I was going to say maybe you can work on work your term on, on that deal. But, <laughs> but yes, sir. Uh, you know, uh, uh, touching up on uh, Mr. Lopez. Uh, you know, I'm. I give him buy whatever you need. You know, I know uh, the previous management. They were very uh, careful with the money. Like, well, you know. If you want to have the best, you got to put money into it. You know, I, I know we're, we're trying to keep it un, under the budget and everything, but I really, you know, I hear a lot of, about our golf course that, you know, they're the best golf course that people have played in. And I've, I've heard it. I've, I already brought two tournaments. They're coming from Los Lagos. They're coming over here to far because again, I mean, but we got to have, we got to have the equipment. We, 
the person now we have it, you know, uh, but it's going to, it's a work in progress, but we'll, we'll get there. I mean, Mr. Lopez, uh, him coming over here and Mr. Salas, that's his right hand, you know, so I think we, we're going to have the best, best golf course in the Valley pretty soon. So that's great. Well, if you can take advantage of the equipment they have over there in Cimarron, it'd be a good oh, time yes. to do that. Yeah. Because yeah. um, Cause yeah. I, 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 we, we talked to the, the, the Mr. Mike, he, he's one of the sales reps from Toro. And he, he told him, like, man, if you all don't buy them, I'm going to buy them and I'm going to resell them for more. So, but I already talked to Sergio also. And uh, right. so we're in the process of getting those, those machines over here. Great. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good news. And, and also, my, my goal, you know, I mean, everybody's goal, I wanted to make uh, the TRSO, you know, one of the number one RGB again. Yeah. Yes. Great. That's my goal. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Any other comments? <clears throat> That's the end of your report, Toro? That's it. Yes, yes. Any comments on anybody? Yeah. not, do we have a motion for... Uh, Approving the report is, is in. So moved. It's been moved and second. Any discussion? Not only favor signified by saying aye. 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 Against him sign. Motion carries. Is there any other item that needs to be discussed? If not, do we have a motion for adjournment? I so move. I have a second. I do. I have a moved and second. All in favor signified by saying aye. 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 Against him sign. We're adjourned. Thank you very much for coming, sir. Aye.